So you have to look, son. You have to look. Yes, Dad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Dad. Uh, uh, son, you want to look at me? Uh, no, Dad. I'm, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Be -do -be -do -be. Yes, it's Aloha Friday. Welcome to Aloha Friday, brought to you by Pacific Center for Economic Development and its Pelotron companies, and they are growing. I'm Kibo Kahuano. I'm Kahuano. And we thank you for joining us on Aloha Friday, wherever you are in the world, on AM 940, Hawaii.com, and of course, on AM 940, right, right here in, Hawaii, in the, you know, the heart of Honolulu, actually. Yep. That's where our studios Downtown. are. Downtown. Yep. Which means Which you is kind of the heart. Yeah, it kind of hard. You can go into some parking structures and lose us, okay? So, so I would stay outside until the important part is over. The whole show. Okay. So anyway, welcome to the program, and we thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's a it's a wonderful day. It's a beautiful weekend. First of all, Ikaika. Yes. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was uh, called yeah. up. Called up. I was called up to duty yeah. yesterday. And you know, when when people call you, you have to respond. Okay. Yeah, you gotta answer the call. And I was called by. Partners in Development, okay, PID, and Yandel heads 250 employees and community uh, companies that reach out to our Hawaiian community. How beautiful is that? That's great. Great. Yeah. And so he had the whole team there. It was all great. At the, This was Kaneohe Clipper. Oh, okay. Aloha to Kevin Kashiwai and all of the pros over there. They, they helped out a lot. Uh, made everything move smoothly. Yeah. The Clipper course, which is famous on the uh, Marine Corps Air State, Marine Corps Base Hawaii, actually, yeah. was fantastic. And everybody turned out. It was just a real kind of uh, wonderful aloha for all of the hard work that they were doing. They raised a lot of money for charity. So got to con uh, congratulate uh, Karen and all of the team. Uh, and uh, just, wow, just really good. Same so place. Did I play? <laughs> Son, I played like I have never played golf before. Really? Yeah, in a good never. way? In a, in a great way. Great. First hole, we're three on the green. Right we on. don't make the putt, we bogey. Mm -hmm. I put the putt in. Right on. Second hole, I hit the second shot to just below the cup. Yeah. About six feet. Mm -hmm. Put the ball in. Birdie. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's par birdie. Yeah. Next hole, we go to the par five. My partner, Shige. 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 He's all of about five foot four, maybe five foot three. Shige. Shige. Puts the ball in the third shot, 12 inches from the cup. Wow. We have a birdie. Wow, it's a, it's a good run so far. Next, we go to the par three. He hits the ball up on a green pin high, 12 feet. Little breaking punt. I put the putt in the hole. Wow, so you're a three under at this point. Yes. Yeah. We go to the next hole. I hit the drive over the trees to 95 yards. Wow. Shige. Shige. Hits the ball on the green, rolls back to the pin. It's a one foot putt. Gimme. Wow. We go on to the par three. It's a birdie. Yeah, birdie. That's four under after five holes. Yeah. yeah. We hit the par three. We try to put the ball in the hole. It's my ball. It's about 12 feet downhill. Little breaker. Mm -hmm. I take out a mulligan because we each have three mulligans. It's a good time for that. In the hole. What's wait? Birdie. Oh, wow. Okay. We go up to the par five. We hit the ball. Down. Then we hit it to the green. Okay. Yeah. We pitch it up. One putt. Birdie. We go to the next hole, number eight. And six under after seven. Dr. Byron Yasui, mm -hmm. who happens to be a professor at University of Hawaii teaching music. Mm -hmm. Kamala's old professor. Yes, yep. yes, great man. Mm -hmm. He's hurting the whole time. Oh, my body, oh! Bends over to pick up the tea, oh, oh! He comes over, we, we, we go to number eight. We hit the drive, mm -hmm. we hit the next shot, pass the pin, up on the hill. And we all try to hit the ball into the cup. Mm -hmm. Not even close. So I said, you know, Professor, it's time for you to take the ball. He takes the ball again, pitches it right straight into the cup, birdie. Wow. You guys are the golf guys with you on the front nine. Yep, yep. 
So that's eight under after, uh, or seven under after eight. Yeah, and then we made one more birdie on the back nine, but we never had any bogeys, and we ended up winning, winning the golf tournament. Winning. Winning. <laughs> and then, no, no, he's a, he's, now you got the top ten guys. You can you can pick up number ten prize, okay, not number one. Mm -hmm. Professor Byron, you're yeah, suing. Mm -hmm. The magic man with the ukulele who played last night, like like all kind of jazz courtings, just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Picks number one. We don't win that son. Unbelievable. What, what you win me? So, I'd like so you to won the golf <laughs> tournament and you picked number oh, one. Oh, by the way, we won thanks to <laughs> Debbie wow. Kanelo of Richards. Wow. Billy yeah. Richards, lovely wife, and mm -hmm. Billy works with uh, uh, for PID, Partners in Development. Mm -hmm. uh, he got these neighbor island trips. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want, round trip. Each, right each member of the team. So Dr. Byron Yasui, Shige, Shige. and you're true. Well, that's what you get for answering the call, I guess. Unbelievable. Wow, congratulations. That's, that's a pretty spectacular uh, golfing. I know, but golf. there was no video. <laughs> Nothing, so sad. So. Well, you never know when it's going to happen. That's oh, the oh, golf. Oh, I waited a long time for <laughs> that. That's why I have such a love love hate with that game. Oh, yeah. like some yeah. days you're great and then so, uh, you go back days. tomorrow yeah. and just yeah. like, oh, Forget it. frustrating. But the organization of uh, PID, Karen, you know, at the head, kind of mm -hmm. running everything, putting it all together, Billy, and of course, Jan Dill at the top, uh, was just awesome. And uh, just a great, great event. And Martin Fahinui, mm -hmm. you are a treasure, my brother. What a treasure. He sang, he sang he so, Oh yeah. Oh, he sang Abu Lili. He sang, it was just great. And then to top it off, the creme de la creme, mm. the beautiful Nina Kelihi Fahamana sang like nobody else sang. So Billy asked her, could you do Pua Mai Ole? And she does it. And it's like, just, just beautiful. We gotta get, we gotta get a Nina, Nina Kelly Ivahamana song, if we can. I, I think it's because we're talking about her, yeah? Yeah. We gotta get it, because she was just, she opens her mouth and everything's beautiful. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, you know, and, and, and she's sitting on one side of me, and her husband, her honey, Gordon, mm -hmm. is sitting on the other side. And I catch them looking at each other. I said, wow, they still in love? They still got that loving thing going to look at each other. She's looking at me and we're looking back at her. I go, wow, I look at this. <laughs> no video. We don't we can't catch the replay. Hey, you can't catch but love on video, man. Do, do we lose it? Do we get anything from Nina, the beautiful Nina? All right. Okay, we have a, a selection of songs as I get over here. Uh, let's let's do something really sweet. Uh, Nina, let's see now. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, that's sweet, that's sweet, that's good, that's good. Um, uh, you know, here's something we, we don't often get in, uh, to hear Nina sing. Kui poi ka hee pui one. Yeah. We don't get to hear, hear her sing that. So, that would be really, really nice. Yeah? Why, yeah. why is it nice, right. Leilani Kupa? Because that Marina. goes back. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's get you on mic here. Go ahead. Ui, aloha. Aloha. Because that song was written by... Um, uh, Princess uh, Rike Rike, Princess Kaiulani's mother. And people oh. don't realize it goes all the way back to there. Plus, it was the 1977. Miriam Rike Rike, yeah. Hi, and the 1977 song contest, uh, or 77 senior class song contest. Uh huh. Um, no song. Ah. Yes. So, it's a and uh, this takes you back to some uh, great reminiscing sounds. And uh, we'll continue with our wonderful morning. It's 13 minutes now past 6 o'clock. I'm Kimo Kahawana. I'm Kaka Kahawana. And this program brought to you by the Pacific Center for Economic Development and the Pelotron Company. And here's Nina Kelly Bahamana, the Jack DeMello Orchestra, the great days of beautiful Hawaiian music. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, so beautiful. And there she is sitting with, with Martin Pahinui, with Aaron Mahi, with uh, Byron, Dr. Byron Yasui on ukulele, yeah. and Dean Kan Ching. What was Shige doing? On guitar. Shige? Shige was sitting there going, wow, Kimo Wheels really good. <laughs> and you were like, yes, yeah, Shige. <laughs> yeah. Shige. Oh, and the whole day we were just going nuts. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, on to, you know, the... the this is totally that name get, takes me back to the rap wrestling group skit. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there was a Shige on the rap Yeah, yeah, where, where um, they, they made the, the Tira. Uh-huh. Yeah, where rap Ripflinger was um, 
the dock and he had Shige was like, yeah, Shige, we created Atira. Oh, yeah, so oh, that's yeah, why yeah. I kept saying Shige. Shige. <laughs> so, uh, so we have the news, the latest news, yep. and uh, and kind of uh, kind of weird, huh? Mm. Weird stuff happening in the news. I mean, wow. We got the. Maybe well, we first, can get Nina to, uh, first of all, I just want to say this: Jim Donovan, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, yeah. has always been a great athletic director. Can we just get that clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, because people are so moved by media and what happens, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, he's on paid leave. And, and let me tell you, they, there isn't a better guy as far as local heart, family, and putting it all together for UH. Mm -hmm. He bleeds green, okay, folks? Yeah. Just so you know. Just want to tell you. Okay. So, now we got that straight. As for the other part, I have no idea. Yeah, I know. No idea. When you deal with those big time guys, you know, you're dealing with. Okay, we're going to have. Uh, who, who should we call up? Let's call up Stevie Wonder. Okay. I mean, come on. I, yeah. just can't, I just can't see it. Why, why, so anyway, why do you have to transfer $200,000 to him? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever happens. No, no, to you, you know what that's like. It's like, when you play hello, kind of I'm calling you from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. You well, have won one million dollars. All you have to do is send us a check for $10,000. And if you send this check properly, we, we will, will give you, you yeah. the one million million dollars it will be just sent right to your bank can we have your bank account number no 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 yeah you know that, that man you know that stuff is uh it's trippy you remember when we used to live on hollander street yeah remember, remember our next door neighbor mr sato yes the old, the old japanese man yeah well, he was always waiting for uh, his million dollars from the publishing uh clearing oh yeah that's right. they're was, gonna walk up to your door yeah he, every day i'm getting my million dollars today okay mr sato no kidding. Yeah. yeah. Wow, Mr. Sato. That's a shame, you know. Why? They do that to the, you know, that they kind of guile the older people like that. Well, like, you know, Mr. Yeah. Sato, Mr. Sato. First of all, publishers clearing house. What is that? Huh? Yeah. Is it really a clearing house? To clear out your money house. I, well, it, it actually the good thing about publishers clearing house was they never sent you. Uh, it was for magazines. Yeah. At least you got a product for, True. For, for the money you sent in. True. Not like these other guys calling from uh, South Africa and Nigeria. They're calling from who knows it, what's it. Yeah. It's just know. so many, like, uh, scams. sketchy. Scams. Yep. And now the scams are, are, are moving uh, in directions where they uh, they attack uh, senior citizens, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Who are alone, don't have anybody else. And they're willing to call and call and call until they get somebody who needs to just talk to somebody on the phone, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because they don't talk to people. So I would say this, folks. If you know somebody who's a senior citizen and you can help to, to find some connections so that they can be able to talk to people, just have conversation, mm -hmm. it will enhance their lives greatly. Well, here's another thing, This too. is why I do this radio show. I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, son. I'm talking to you. You are? Okay. And I'm talking to you? Yeah. And, and the thing about it is, if anything asks you on the internet, um, this is just like a rule of thumb, if anything asks, promises like, uh, so that they're going to give you something, uh -huh. and all you have to do is give them, you know, a few bucks here and there, then yeah. 90, 100% of the time it's a scam. Yeah. So, just, and especially if it's like someone in Nigeria or anything like that, yeah. just don't even, pay, just delete. Delete. Delete and move on. Okay. Yep. Uh, by the way, everything is safe in the world, folks. Oh, yeah. Spam is still a mainstay in Hawaii. Yeah, After what a, what a seven decades, brother. <laughs> seven decades, 75 years anniversary of spam in Hawaii. And you know why? Spam musubi. Come on. Yeah, you can't beat spam musubi. Spam musubi with the taquan inside. Oh. It's going to be, the spam's going to be cooked pretty crispy, though. I like only crispy spam. Picky, picky. Okay. No, no, but uh, but spam. This is part well. Of the I was news. actually I was like when you looked at that when you told me about that this morning. I was like uh -huh. I looked it up on Wikipedia trying uh -huh. to find the history of oh, spam, spam, but uh -huh. it's kind of kind of long or whatever. But anyways, it's it's a it's a shortened version of the words spiced and ham. So spiced and ham. It's not an ham. acronym. It's just like you know spiced, spiced ham. Uh, yes, yeah, spiced ham. That's what it's uh, short for. Yeah, and and you know, and, and it was first and other things that they don't put down in what the ingredients. First so. introduced in 1937. 1937. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I don't know exactly. Do you know that? Do you know that 1927 was the groundbreaking of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel? Wow. So 10 years later, the introduction of spam, and of course during wartime, 
right? Right. And people for poor people, mm -hmm. right? Spam was like big time because you could get spam, you could feed the whole family. When we were on demand strain in Kalihi, mm. spam was big time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And lunch and meat. Yeah, but oh, yeah, just gotta be careful with the spam though. I always yeah. say, get yeah. a can of tuna, and, you know, instead of a can of spam. Get a can of tuna. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, well, those it's are a little bit more healthy. Those kind of the big stories. Uh, punch bowl. Punch bowl. Did you see about this cemetery thing? No. Punch bowl. Okay. The cemetery moved memorial markers without telling affected families. Hmm. Okay. How's that? Wow. Yeah. So they just move the markers. Move the markers. Family goes looking for the place they they normally go to. They move them. Okay, but the when they move the markers, yes, you're asking me in your brain. What are you asking? Where where do they move the people? Aye. Yeah. Did they the move disease. the people with the markers? Yeah. yeah. Well, I would think so. Well, I, I don't know. So. I hope so. Hey, how's this? How's this that uh, battleship Bonanza, mm. the battleship Missouri, welcome its five millionth visitor. Thursday, the Miller family from Livermore, California. They yeah, were, I saw some of them. They do a lot of uh, military contracts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, uh, you know, Pacific Center for Economic Development and Peloton Companies has worked with people over there in Livermore. Mm -hmm. So anyway, they came from Livermore, California. <laughs> Annabelle Miller, mm -hmm. okay, joined by niece Olivia Oyang, mm -hmm. uh, daughter Nikki, husband Dan, and son Zachary. How's that? Isn't that cool? Yeah, they actually um, were going to go to the Arizona first, I believe. Uh -huh. But then they ended up going to the Missouri. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were like the fi five million, you said, right? Right. Yeah. Five, five million, million customer. customer. Yeah. Wow, that's that's just great, really great. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take another musical break, and we'll be right back. We uh, we have two special guests who are coming up uh, this morning. One is Johnson Enos, who is putting together and is the creator of Honu by the Sea at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Mm. Okay? But more important than that, this local boy uh, has already had his own island hits here, hooked up with a great songwriting team, ended up with Disney, and is doing some amazing things. We're going to talk to him. Also, we've got to practice. We've got to practice because, you know, when you sing in front of Melvin, she's not going to be really liking you singing. <laughs> Let her sing. But she kind of sing her own birthday song. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Melvin is kind of country. Right? Mm -hmm. Jazz, rock and roll. Right. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but we are going to attempt to sing Happy Birthday to Melvin Lee. Today. There we go. Because her birthday's coming up. And, and a big benefit show. Right. Right? Yeah, and uh, her concert, re or CD release party. CD release party. CD release concert. A concert. Better yeah. than a party. Wow. Yeah. Good to have friends, yeah? They, they, they sold out the concert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Friends like Carol Kai <laughs> on a table. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Shucks, I'd like to go to that, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's on Wednesday. Yeah. Yep, that's okay. Hotel. It's 624. Let's get to some beautiful music. Uh, let's see now. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. This is good. Ladies and gentlemen, the music of Darlene Ahuna. We'll be right back with more. I'm Kimo Kawano. I'm Kimo Kawano. The great sounds of Pops, Gabby Pahinui, and the Gabby Band. Special aloha. To Martin Pahinui last night jamming with the Partners in Development Golf Tournament, and congratulations to a great successful golf tournament. Well, back to the news. Uh, before we get to our first guest uh, coming up, and the news speaks to the Yard House. Now, every time you go to Waikiki mm -hmm. uh, by Embassy Suites, there's a Yard House. Yep. And it's always been packed. As far as I can remember, yeah. Yeah, so. And it opened in 1996, which is when I graduated from high school, which is the first time I even heard about it. So, wow. Yeah. And and it's evidently sold. How much? 500. Sold for $585 million. $585 million. Can you can you even just gather that? I don't even, yeah. No, no, no. no. I cannot, <laughs> cannot. But the 39-unit uh, Yard House USA Incorporated restaurant chain was founded by 1977 R. Redeemer Lutheran School graduate. Uh-huh. Steel Platt. Wow. Yeah. And you know, Steel not only went there, he went to, uh, let's see now, Pearl Harbor Kai Emel Elementary School, mm -hmm. uh, Kahi Elementary, mm -hmm. uh, known as Kalaheo Intermediate School also. Right. And then uh, Ari Deermer Lutheran. Yeah. Yeah, and he could take a couple of those millions and actually buy those schools <laughs> if he wanted to. Jeez, uh, what are at you least. Do with that money? And all the teachers. We still have trouble with the teachers and this stuff like that. 
I don't like that because teachers give so much of their time and their energy and everything else, you know? Mm. They do. They yeah, give yeah. a lot. They sacrifice a lot. Yeah, and I taught for two years and it's not a you know, it's not an easy job. No. It and did, it's it not really work. about teaching, it's more of about, you know, kind of getting all these students on the same page. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. Like getting them interested in what you're talking about. Yeah, and just just one more ugly thing, okay? Yeah. Because we cannot have just the beautiful, we're gonna have the ugly. It's gotta be balanced. Ugly, and here's the ugly. Probe accuses Paterno of cover up. Okay? Oh. Yeah, but he's 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 passed away. So not only is he passed away, uh, you just know. Leave the guy alone. There was one guy who spoke up for uh, Coach Paterno and he said he's always a straight up guy, right. he's always been there. Uh, he would never do anything that was uh, you know, just ra ir irrational. So he always went by the book and he always did the right things, right. okay? But in this case, you know, this one thing and these guys are all, whew, it's just terrible. Yeah, that's a but big But let's big leave mess. that alone. I don't, I don't even want to say the guy's name because that guy is really ugly. I mean, what he did to those uh, young boys. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, on to better news, okay? Mm -hmm. First of all, entertainment because before you get to sports, you got to get to entertainment because you will never stop spot talking about sports. The entertainment world, uh, we're talking about... Uh, None other than uh, the Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger. Yeah. You heard about his new book? Um, no. S supposedly, he, he was with 4,000 women. Really? 4,000 women. Uh, that's nothing. I mean, well, look yeah. at Will Chamberlain. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what, 50,000 or something like that? No, I, I some, Yeah, something like that. They're all making up numbers. Come on. <laughs> it's inside your head. Come on. Uh, you know what you don't you know? It would be more? That was the same one. You went back to it 12 times. <laughs> you, think Come it would, on. you think it would be more? It was only about five or six girls, but they changed. You put on a wig. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I think, I think he's under, he's sort of uh, underestimating that. that well, well, what I'm saying is that the, the book, just coincidentally, mm -hmm. uh, goes with their 50th anniversary of the band's first performance. Wow, okay, so what? they had a party at London's uh, Somerset House, mm -hmm. and they probably... You know, looking to go on tour again. Yeah. Yeah. Wheelchairs and all. <laughs> Just joking. No, no, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger is unbelievable. Now, he came to the and Lost he's, Stadium. He's, he's great. He's unbelievable. Yeah. He's got moves like Jagger. Let's spend the night together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how does that song go? I don't know that one, but... Uh, I, I make you move like Jagger. I used to sing it. Yeah. Uh, oh, the moves like Jagger? Yeah. Yeah, I sing that with my band. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, so, anyway. Yeah. Uh, but which song did you used to sing for the Rolling Stones when you were a um, kid? God, uh, it was with Kamuela we used to sing it. Um, oh, yeah. Jumpin' Jack Flash. Jumpin' Jack Flash, Jumpin' Jack Flash, yeah. I was born in a crossfire hurricane. And I can't remember the rest of the song. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, oh, well, by but the way. But they're in London and the Olympics begin soon. That's right. So. It's happening. Uh, yeah. Hap well, speaking of entertainment, wait, wait, wait. and someone that's sort of. Um, okay. Uh, Okay. You know, the Rolling Stones-esque yeah. is uh, Steven Tyler. Yeah, what about him? Uh, he's not going to be on American Idol. Whoa! Yeah, he's not going to be judging anymore. Whoa! Whoa. He decided to uh, focus more on his band and their tour yeah, right yeah. now. And I know, you do American Idol for so long, telling, you know, talking to singers and stuff like that. Pretty soon, the target is on you. Yeah. Okay, as a judge. <laughs> the target is on you. Yeah, he was Why fired. even go there? So, I guess... Uh, he's, Get out! He's but... opting out, and then I guess Jennifer Lopez is like, well, if he's not coming back, then... You know, I don't know if I'm going to be coming back, so yeah. now they just got the uh, the one judge yeah, yeah. they got to figure it out, yeah. so... American Bring Idol. Simon back! American Idol, filled with contestants, no judges. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, if you celebrating your birthday, Patrick Stewart, the actor. Remember Patrick Stewart? Yeah, uh, that sounds familiar. 72 years old. Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah. Come on. Han Solo. Come on, Han, Han Solo. Solo. The, the guy from The Fugitive. And, uh, uh, the big... The Indiana big, Jones. Ew. 70 years old today. You know what Kamala said the other day? What? So that you remind him, of, or Harrison Ford reminds him of you. Oh, no kidding? Yeah. Well, he's got good taste. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> uh, actor, comedian Cheech Marin of Cheech and Chong mm -hmm. is 66 years old today. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Love Cheech. Congratulations. Uh, drummer Will Champion of Coldplay is 34. Right on, he's my age. Right on. Yep. And actor Stephen McQueen of The Vampire Diaries is 24 years old. Wow, that's a youngster. Yeah, Vampire Diaries. Sometimes you just hit it and that's it. And uh, and just one more thing. Mm -hmm. The price of a doggy wedding in New York. <laughs> a doggy wedding? To like, ben benefit the Humane Society. Like dogs getting married? Yes. Yeah, dogs getting married. Wow. Expensive pet wedding, most expensive, 
$158,187.26. All right, first of all, is that even legal? Do dogs get married? Is that happening now? Uh, yeah. I've seen some dogs lately. No, no, no. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you people with dog lovers, you know, you know how precious that is. Oh, they are. I didn't know. I didn't know they were getting married nowadays. <laughs> yeah, it depends. You know, they're excited to see you and stuff. Yeah, okay. I love dogs. I'm not a cat guy. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Finally, sports. You a cat guy, Dad? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't, no. Yeah, just like dogs, man. Cats. You know what's good about cats? I don't know what is good about cats. You see them, you know they're there, but you never pay attention. Beautiful sounds of Kaylee Reichel. It's the wonderful sounds of Kaylee Reichel right here at 7 o'clock in the morning. And aloha kakahiaka kako. Oneia kahola kakahiaka. Hola iku. Hola iku. Mahalo. And now we're going to holo to. Uh, the voice of a waking up on her, you know, birthday, pre-birthday Aloha Friday celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, Melvin Lee. Good morning. Good morning. I love it when you just wake up and we talk story. Remind me to, remind me to punch you <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you're going. But it's okay because people were thinking like, oh, he doesn't have a guest today. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to start off right off because uh, your birthday is coming up on the 18th and, yeah. and it's going to be a big party. But before we get to the party, okay, you ready, son? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do it. Okay. Go for it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Melvin. Is he Kaika? Oh, <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, Kaika. Hello, Melvin. Oh, you grew up young. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's more kind. Trust me, I hear a lot of nice things about you, Kaika. Oh, well, thank uh, you very much. Likewise. Yes, very likewise. Very like, uh, likewise, like uh, I was uh, just uh, in a small panic. But you know what? <laughs> now that we have you on the phone, that's all that's important. Because you, you have this wonderful night coming up next Wednesday on the 18th. Yeah. And it's sold out, so everybody who hears this, be jealous. <laughs> yeah, be jealous because you cannot be there. Ha ha ha! ha. It's sold out. Well, I'm going to have another one. Oh, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. So, so this one is going to be Wednesday night. It's sold out at the Alamoana Hotel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Melvin Lee performed right next door from the ballroom. It, it, I used to perform at the Garden Lanai. The Garden Lanai. You were there. Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve years you performed at the Garden Lanai. Oh, yeah. Wow. You were you were a fixture at the Alamona Hotel. What? You had a house there. <laughs> <laughs> Practically. Right upstairs? <laughs> yeah. But Alamona Hotel has been good to you. It's been a good part of your career. Very good. Yeah. Oh, so good. And, and you know, it's... Yeah, yeah, they got the, the they got that whole thing going like, uh, you know, everybody has hotel rooms converting, hotels, converting from, yeah, to hotel timeshare. Yeah. yeah, timeshare. Wow. So I remember one time, I went to the one and I saw one on the balcony, and I said, "Oh, that's Melvin." Yeah. 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 Yeah
Hey, listen, 12 years at the Garden of Lanai, uh, I think that's a record, huh? I think so. Yeah, I don't think anybody else stayed at the Almond Hotel uh, that long. It was my 11th year, they gave me a diamond ring on the Lanai. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Was that Gunter, Gunter Hutt? Gunter Hutt, yes, the GM of Almond yes. Hotel at that time. Yes, yes, I remember it well, Mervyn. They got all of us to do the Hoko Awards there. Yes. And uh, that's right, that's right. And for several years, uh, you know, in one year, Beverly Gannon and her husband Joe Gannon came over because uh, Joe, of course, was a big producer and everything and, and helped to produce the show. At the, uh, the with the Hoku Awards, wasn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So and nice. You know, you know what's really nice? After all these years, I finally recorded my first jazz CD. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. what I was gonna say. So your concert on Wednesday is your jazz CD release dinner concert, correct? Yes. Yeah. Ah. And I saw it actually in the um, out and about in the um, Star Star advertising. Yeah. So, oh no kidding! Yeah. It's called that Wish You Love. And yep. Oh happy, and I got the. Hey, you got two of the best, girl. Yeah, and then the piano player is Barry Miles. He used to play for uh, Roberta Flack. Whoa. That's really you, nice. Hey, you're not fussing around, huh? <laughs> but Barry will be there this, this Wednesday. But uh, John, uh, Hop, John uh, Jim Howard will be there. Oh, Jim Howard. Jim uh, has performed at the Halekulani Hotel for many years. Yeah? yeah. What a good good man. Good good artist. Yeah. yeah. So, so your CD uh, release dinner concert is going to be from 6 to 10 p.m., correct? Yes. Yeah, and it's a, it's going to be a seven-course Chinese dinner. Not. It's very, very well selected, too. No, okay, seven courses. Uh -huh. Do you have a song for each course? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, each course, you come on, Mel, you go, okay, here's your next song. <laughs> Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Wow. That's, it sounds like it. It's so beautiful. I gotta thank Rosie Holton, my committee, and Lucas, that worked everything. Oh my gosh. And my husband, they worked so hard. And it's gonna be decorated in red, black, and white. Wow. Oh. Suit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> suit. It's a dressed up affair. Oh, really, darling? Wear a suit. Are you good? Hey, hey, listen, I'm going to come, I'm going to wear two suits, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna, because I have nine suits, okay? There's, all I'm doing is sitting in a closet. Right? <laughs> well, you know, I got to tell you, about the audience out there, Kimo has known me from day one, you know? Way back when I was doing this show, and I know that Kimo has known me from day one, you know? Way back. So, if anybody knows me, most of my career, it's besides Ben, of course. Uh-huh, yeah, Brother Ben. And, you know, um... When you were at the uh, Moana Surfrider in Hapai, yes. with your baby, yeah, I yeah, that. yeah, that was. Uh, You're kidding me! <laughs> oh man! The, the no planet kidding. of the apes guys? Yeah, so they yeah. they wore the outfits. Oh, that must have freaked your kids out. <laughs> hey, hey, Melvin doesn't just monkey around, okay? She's the real deal. And uh, the concert is coming up, but we're going to go back into her life. Uh, brother, can you do me a favor? Can you pull up a Melvin lead song? Well, no. The first thing is we got to go into the vault. This is the extra security vault. <laughs> Top, for strictly, precious, strictly top secret for precious, show, yep. uh, happy birthday people <laughs> and uh, and you are a that makes you a cancer yeah yes. well what does that mean sign of the crab but you have a Leo rising okay yeah. so Leo is a leadership role mm -hmm. yeah so so you have the Leo Leo rising That's what my name is Lee. Le Melvin Leo lead <laughs> oh, Oh, Leo Lead. Oh, sound like Leo Reed. Okay. So, uh, so Mel, we're gonna we're gonna play one of your songs. Okay. Uh, how about uh, a cool morning dew? I just wanna say I'm so happy to hear you on the radio again. Oh. That, uh, you know, that station, they, they gotta be so lucky. They're very lucky to have you. 
and, and and we're fortunate to uh, to have success in the company uh, Pacific Center for Economic Development. Uh, let me tell you that my classmates, Amoka McClellan and Harvey Kim, have led a team of uh, great uh, professionals. Uh, have provided work for many very very talented. Uh, Hawaiians and part Hawaiians who are, are here in the islands and people who are, you know, not Hawaiian, but they have a great skill. So we're doing military contracts and that's what makes this show uh, the possibility and what you give to the life of the people every time you're on stage, Melvin, is just classic. So let us go right to your song, the most beautiful song, Melvin, A Ku'u Morning Dew. And that was the one take. One take? Wow. One take. Where did you take it? Where, where? Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. Wow. That's pretty rare, one takes. One take. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So let's listen to the first take Save the studio of life. Melvin in Nashville, Tennessee, with the greatest pickers in uh, country music backing her up. And we'll be right back. I'm Kimo Kahuana. I'm Kai Kahuana. Welcome to Aloha Friday, brought to you by Pacific Center for Economic Development and its Pelotron Company. What's that? Hold on, Mel. Yeah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> so now the next logistic is how do we plug in so they can hear the images? Now the whole thing can be taken. Yeah, oh, because you didn't want me to put on during the interview. Yeah, but can you turn it off so that the battery is it off or? Uh, oh, you know what? I... Do you want me to turn it off completely? Yeah. You know, and then I'll bring it back in at the end of the show. Yeah. Okay. Go slowly, oh.